So I would like to thank uh, PNP community and PNP team members to give me this opportunity to present my web part. So today we'll be discussing uh, one of the web part which we have uh, recently developed, uh, which would help us manage our application customizer. So it was uh, developed by me and uh, Siddharth as well. So let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Kunj uh, and I'm working as a M365 developer. And these are my social handlers. Uh, I even do like to share my knowledge so you can check out some of my blogs. And yes, uh, I have co-developed it with Siddharth so you can connect with him as well. So regarding any of the issues or any different issues as well, you can connect with us. This is the link uh, where you can check uh, our uh, application customizer. It is named as react hyphen edit application customizer. And uh, what was the motivation or what was the driving factor uh, which uh, made me or uh, Siddharth develop this web part was once we were once I was discussing with Siddharth that uh, I had an application customizer and I had prop properties in it. But to change those properties, uh, we either need to use PNP PowerShell or Office 365 CLI. So there was no UI based approach uh, which would help us uh, update it real quickly. Uh, we would either need to write few lines of PowerShell code or uh, we need to have Office 365 uh, few lines of codes. But to overcome that, uh, we developed a UI based approach where a user can just uh, select for which site collection they want to update their application customizer and they can uh, quickly update the properties there itself. So what we are offering currently, so this web part would be more of handy to those who are uh, admins in the SharePoint uh, end, like those who want to update uh, their application customizers. And uh, we are offering two different types of layout. Uh, so one is accordion based and one is list based. I'll show you I'll show it to you in the demo and let's jump to the demo. Okay. So yes, so this is the web part. So as you can see, this is accordion based uh, uh, approach here. What you can do is we have all the site collection present in my tenant. You can select any of the site collection and you'll get all the application customizer present in that particular site collection or web. And you can uh, quickly update the property. You can click on edit and update the property. So for this demo, what I've done is I've created an application customizer. Uh, uh, so this is a footer. So this is pre PNP demo. Now I'll just change it to PNP demo. Let's update and boom. It is now updated. Let's refresh. And let's see, see, uh, it got updated. So uh, this becomes very handy and uh, this can be deployed in any of our uh, 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 site pages and it can be used by any of the user who has access to all the site collection. And the other uh, design is the list based design. So if you change it to the list based design, it would change the UI. So I can republish it. I can view the properties. OK, and I can edit it as well. So this is regarding the demo. So let me quickly go to the code part. So this is actually like a demo web part only. So for this, what we thought of to have two different UI frameworks. So we are uh, using best of two worlds. We are using material UI and we are using office UI fabric as well. So if you see in the render method, so let me quickly go to the render method. Uh, we have two different design types. One is accordion and the list base. So in the accordion, we are using uh, material UI accordion. And for the list based approach, we are using uh, our list, which is provided by office UI fabric. And for fetching the data or for updating the data, uh, we have created a service met, uh, service file. You can see uh, this is fetching all the application customizer pre present in the web. So you are creating a web. So we are using PNPJS. Thank you for the PNP contributors who are contributing in PNPJS as well. So we are using web dot uh, user custom actions. So this would fetch all the uh, customizers. 
and to up so uh, this method is for fetching all the site collection which user has access to so using sp search which is handy sp dot search instead of uh, directly getting all the site collections and for updating we are using uh, we are first getting it by id and then we are updating it so this is how we are updating our uh, application customizer so while discussing or while having a pre demo session with siddharth uh, we thought of having a delete button as well which could be handy so in the next release or in the recent uh, future we'll update it with a delete button as well so that if you want to delete any application customizer you can quickly delete it as well uh, if you want to remove any of this uh, unwanted application customizer so this is it any questions if anyone has any so back to you patrick thank you all right well thank you very much for that demo the one thing maybe to mention on the yeah. there was a question from mike related on the user custom action or the, the extension modification collection administrator answer is actually no because at least by design the SPFX extension properties are stored in the web dot user custom action collection. And that means that you have to be just an, uh, is it actually a, even a member might be enough, but you need to be a site owner, not necessarily a site collection uh, administrator. So technically, by the way, for Sitheart and, and Kuhn, uh, one option could be that that UX would give the opportunity of uh, setting the extension also in a site collection level, because this is something what, what we don't actually expect Supposed to be super, uh, let's say, openly within the SPFX, but you could actually set the extension in a site object, and that would mean that if there will be a subsite created with a modern experiences in that site collection, it would natively have the extension available as well. So that actually does work, but it's not something which we super widely, or it's not maybe obvious when you're implementing an, an Japan framework extension that you can associate the extension either in a site collection level or in a site level. Something to know.